How's it going everyone? So in this video, we are completing our HDB Academy module, Windows Fundamentals. Um, so we're on the last section, uh, Skills Assessment, uh, Windows Fundamentals. Um, so in this uh, last set of questions, um, the instructions tell you to go through uh, these eight steps here. Um, and when I did the questions, I didn't have to do every step. Um, you can do some of the steps and uh, by doing just some of them, you're able to complete uh, the questions without issue. Um, so I'm going to walk you guys through that here really quick. Um, so let's jump to the first question. Uh, so the first question is, what is the name of the group that is present in the company data share permissions ACL by default? Uh, so the answer is everyone. Um, and I'll show you how to get there. So go ahead and spawn your target system and then um, go ahead and RDP um, to the Windows host. So I have my RDP session up that's RDP'd in a Kali Linux. And then from Kali Linux, I used XFree RDP to get to the Windows session. All right, so let's go ahead um, and we'll just create a folder. So we're just gonna right click here on the desktop and then you're going to go to new folder and then go ahead and right click that folder go to properties and then from the properties section you're going to click sharing and then you're going to click advanced sharing and then you're going to click share this folder and then you're going to click permissions and you're going to see that the default is everyone so let's go ahead and minimize here so the answer for the first question is everyone. And so like I said, um, you know, in the demonstration, it says you create a shared folder called company data. Um, for instance, you don't have to name it exactly from what they tell you. Um, you can just create a folder and still get the answer. Um, and then same with the second question. So the second question is, what is the name of the tab that allows you to configure NTFS permissions? And that tab is security. And you're going to see that from here. So once we cancel out of kind of what we did here, um, so now we're in the properties. So one tab over from sharing is security. So if you click that, um, you get to see all the um, permissions here. And so you can change the permissions from this tab here called the security tab. So that's the answer for the second question. Um, the third question is what is the name of the service associated with Windows Update? So for this one, I used the task manager. So let's go ahead and exit out of here and you can leave that folder there, no issue. Um, so go ahead and right click uh, the taskbar here. Um, so right click the black section and then uh, click task manager and then go to um, services here. So we're looking for um, a Windows update um, service or process. Um, it says name of the service associated with Windows update. So under the services, um, if we look at the description, we can try and find something that says Windows update. So this is sorted um, from A to Z, it looks like. So if I click the description, it should be able to sort the other way. So now um, the X for Xbox is at the top. Um, so if you look for Windows Update, we can see here it's kind of right in the middle. Um, so if we look to the left, this column is name, which is the name of the Windows service. So we can see here that for Windows Update, the name of the service is WUA user V. And that's going to be the answer for the third question there. Um, and then the fourth question, it says list the SID associated with the user account Jim you created. So with this one, we are actually going to follow the demonstration. Um, which is actually pretty easy. Um, so it just says step three, create a user called Jim. Um, and also here it says uncheck the user must change password at logon. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, so we're going to click X out of the services. Uh, we're going to go into the search bar and we're going to uh, type in computer management. Um, so if I can click in here. Uh, sometimes with the multiple RDP sessions, it can be a little delayed. Um, so we'll type in computer and it should pull up computer management. So click that. And then you're going to click on local users and groups and then click on users. 
And then if you double click users, actually, you can see all the users um, that are already in here. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click users and we're gonna click new user. And I forgot the name it was, oh, Jim, okay. So for username, we're just gonna type in Jim. Uh, full name, we'll just type in Jim. And then I wanted us to uncheck that box. So we'll go ahead and click create. And then we'll click close. And then now you can see Jim is located here. Um, so I'm gonna keep this window up. Now the question is, um, list the SID associated with uh, the user account Jim. So in order to do that, um, you can open up PowerShell, which is the icon on the uh, taskbar here. Um, once that's loaded, I do have a command um, that will be able to get the SID. So it's going to be a WMIC, a user account, get name and then comma SID. So we're gonna sort it by two columns, name on the left, SID on the right. So if we hit enter and give that a second, little delay, there we go. All right, so we have name and we have Jim and then we have our SID on the right and it ends in um, 429 1006 and that's going to be the answer here 429 1006 and the same process is going to be used for the last question so the last question is list the SID associated with the HR security group you created so again let's reference the um, uh, tutorial here all the steps um, so it says creating a security group called HR so that's pretty pretty easy. Um, so let's go back. We'll go back. Actually, I'm going to minimize the PowerShell window. Um, so we'll go to groups, and we're just going to right-click groups, click new group, and we're going to name it HR, and then click create. And then we're going to click close, and then now you're going to see HR in here. So now, if we open up PowerShell again, we're going to pretty much use the same command, but there's going to be only one change. So it's going to be WMIC. And then instead of user account, it's going to be group. And then it's going to be the same for the rest of the command. It's going to be git name comma SID, then hit enter. And then now we can see HR on the left for the name of the group and then the SID associated. And then it ends in 429-1007 which is the answer for the last one. And that's it, guys. That wraps up the uh, Windows Fundamentals um, skills assessment for the last one. And so as you can kind of see, you know, I didn't follow every step. It was pretty much uh, creating a folder, didn't have to name it. Um, and then it was creating the user gym. We had to be specific about that and also specific about step four. Um, so that was pretty much it, guys. I hope you found that video helpful and useful. If you did, please like the video. Please subscribe to my channel, and we'll talk to you guys later.